What's up, guys? This is Jobs. <laughs> Jobs guy. I just get my names mixed up. You know, I have so many names. Um, and I guess it's time for Lost View, which I haven't really done in a while. I didn't really do Lost View for season five because they kind of, no pun intended, but season five really kind of lost me with the whole time travel thing. And it's, I don't know if season six is any better in that regard as far as, t you know, now we're going with multiple timelines. It's just what it looks like they're doing, but they're just, uh, whatever. Wow, so just seeing those people on the planet. Well, the island is underwater, so like, you know, I, I had all these thoughts. It's like, okay, you think the island's moving across the sea or across the earth or something. I never imagined it going down. Like, I imagined it going to the sides or going up in the sky or something, but I never imagined it going down to the bottom of the sea. That was just crazy, you know. And is it just me, or does that foot look different every single time they show it? Like, the first time they showed it, it was, like, big, and the toes were thick and round. And when they showed it underwater just now, the toes are all flat, and they look like beans. And then when they're actually attached to the rest of the statue, the feet are all flat. Like, the entire surface of the foot is touching the ground. Like, Nicolas Cage's feet at the end of City of Angels. And, it, like, there's a difference there, because some people's toes curve up at the ends, and the toes aren't touching the ground. But, like, I look at my desktop, and I see that statue there, and the entire foot is like a flat thing. And so there's no, like, curvage at all. So I don't know why it looks so different like that. I don't know. I'm sure that's just me, though. There's not, like, two different foot statues. There were a lot of, like, differences from the original timeline with the people on the plane. I mean, I think we have to assume that since the bomb blew in 1977, that caused a ripple which changed certain things that led to different people being on the plane. And, and I, I always forget that the island being at the bottom of the ocean, that you have to factor that in. But... There's no telling when it went to the bottom of the ocean. We still don't know that. I mean, it probably didn't go to the bottom of the ocean from the beginning. And we see in the other timeline that Juliet is still in the same place she was when she detonated the bombs, buried under the hatch. So, if the bomb is what caused the island to go underwater, how could they even be there? Why would it matter what place they were in? Why did they take the time to put her in the same place if... I mean, you have to assume that you know, there's like one cause, but then there's like two effects. But then there's actually three effects. Right? Sort of? No? Maybe. I just don't see how they can possibly converge these two timelines into one and not have one be the cause of the other. Or, well, you know, it's like, how are they going to... I mean, the timelines already contradict each other because Juliet is under the hatch in one, and then the island's at the bottom of the water in the other one. So she couldn't have survived that if the whole thing went under. These people couldn't be on the island messing around, unless they brought it back up at some point. Like, resurrected the island. I mean, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, the most obvious difference is on the, on the plane, obviously, is Desmond being there. Which I can see that, because if the island sunk, Desmond never would have crashed on the island. He probably finished the boat race possibly proved himself to win more. But you would think if he earned Penny's love in the process, she would have been on the plane with him, like, going to where he goes or something. Unless he was on, like, some kind of, you know, business trip or something. The one that always gets me is Shannon. Shannon wasn't on the plane. Boone says he went to get her out of a bad relationship, and apparently she didn't want to get out of it as much as he thought she did. But they didn't really specify what kind of a relationship he was talking about. Like, he could have been talking about a business relationship, is what I was thinking. Like the whole business relationship that he had with his mom, and like maybe she, I, I don't know, I don't know why I keep thinking of his mom when I talk about that, because I'm sure she has nothing to do with it, but I guess there really isn't as much to say about that as I thought, it's just my thought was, well, if she's not on the plane, maybe that means that, <coughs> maybe that somehow some other things in her life changed as well, like maybe her dad, Adam Rutherford, never got in the wreck with Sarah, which means Jack never did the surgery on her, so Jack never met Sarah in this timeline, and so because of that, maybe he either was either number one more emotionally stable because of it like i said in the comment on anakin 1814's video or number two he met somebody else and married her it could have been that he did he ever was he ever interested in anybody else i don't know i'm trying to figure out here like which one of these i mean obviously the alternate plane timeline is 2004 and the uh the alternate oh, they're both alternate timelines to the one that we've seen in the first five seasons so so there's actually like three timelines now. You know, it's been all this time, you know, people are always saying they don't want them to cop out at the end and say it was all a dream, but 
it, it kind of sort of looks like they already did that because each timeline's already contradicting the previous ones, except for the one on the island, I guess. But you don't want the one on the islands to be real because, well, maybe you do. I mean, obviously what they did in 1977 by blowing up the bomb is changing these people's past so that, you know, there's different things happening, but but for them to still be on that plane, it must not have changed it that much, which is what bothers me about it. It's like it's changing it just enough so that there's like these drastic differences, but not enough so that there's any change in who was on the plane. It was, like, Michael and Walt weren't on the plane. I was really kind of disappointed in that. I, was, I don't know, I, sh I shouldn't say I was disappointed, but I kept waiting for them to show up. Because I keep thinking, they said that when we see season six, we're going to know beyond the shadow of a doubt that they planned this from the beginning, right? And how in the world are they ever going to be able to prove that? Like, there's nothing they could possibly write that could prove that beyond the shadow of a doubt. The only thing they could do to possibly, like, physically show us physical evidence that they did plan from the beginning would be to have season six footage with, you know, a ten-year-old Malcolm David Kelly. Which is why I got this thing, and I'm still thinking in my head, they probably did maybe film some footage with Walt that we haven't seen yet that's going to turn up in season six and that would prove it. That would be physical evidence that they planned it from the beginning. Especially if Walt turns out to be as important as they made him out to be. I know they keep saying, well, this story is done. I'm like, dude, this story ain't done by a damn sight. And they say they can, you know, and I've heard these stuff about how they can explain his powers without him even being on the screen. It's like, what, is somebody else is going to have the same power? I mean, I don't know. I had this thing that I was thinking one time in Season 5. Is at one point in Season 5, you remember when Sawyer was talking about Kate to Horace? He says it's three years long enough to get over somebody. Well, he's thinking about Kate that night. And it just so happens that the very next day, she comes crashing on 316. So he's thinking about Kate, and she comes crashing on a plane. It's kind of like how Walt thinks about the bird, and the bird crashes into the window. It's like maybe by thinking about somebody, you can draw them towards you. Or like you can visualize a certain future or a certain person and make that person come to you or something, maybe that's what the power is, because because if they're going to show Walt's powers without actually showing Walt, that's how they're going to have to do it. I thought it was weird that Cindy, nobody's pointed this out yet, but I'm pretty sure Cindy gave Jack two drinks in the original timeline, she only gives him one in this timeline. I don't know what the significance of that could possibly be, but, I mean, we've seen that Cindy is an other, right? So wasn't she planning on the plane crashing then? I mean, was she always an other, or was she just recruited after she came to the island? Did she come to the island? Like, we still don't know if she was another before she came to the island or if she was recruited after she crashed. I'm guessing she was recruited after she crashed, but... Uh, but then, on, in last night's episode, she's another, and she was saying, well, these people are on H-15, they crashed with me. <coughs> Wasn't there some evidence at some point that proved that Cindy was, like, an other the whole time, even before she even before the plane crashed, like that she had planned to crash to the island. Because we've seen that others leave the island all the time. But then it's not so easy to get back. Like, you know. I always had this theory before, like ever since they showed the episode 316, I had this theory that maybe 815 crashed for the same reason that 316 did. There was a certain group of people on the plane that were trying to make that knew it was going to crash and were trying to get back to the island to stop it from you know, flashing around the first time. Yeah, Locke comes up to Richard at the end of the second episode. He says it's nice to see you out of those chains. So, are we sus suspecting now that Richard was one of the slaves on the Black Rock? Because I always thought Richard might be the captain of the Black Rock. Because the Black Rock is like the oldest thing we know of on the island. But obviously there are ships that crashed there before the Black Rock because when Jacob and what's-his-face Flock are watching it, it's like, it's not the first ship they've seen, because he says it's always the same, so they've seen this happen before, so the Black Rock, it's not the first time it's happened, so the fact that Richard never ages, yeah, that makes him old, but why is it, you know, that doesn't link him directly to that ship, nothing we've seen does that yet, but they're going to have to do that, because they don't have time to tell a story about a whole other ship that Richard's on, and then tell a story about a whole other group of people that was on the Black Rock. They don't have time for that. They have to put the two together and make Richard be the person on the Black Rock. That's the only way they're going to have time to tell that story. I mean, we're running out of time, you know? But see, then that links back to the journal that Woodmore was bidding on in Season 4. He wanted to find out about the Black Rock for whatever reason. And here I was thinking this journal might have been, you know, written by Richard, and now... It's like, well, no, it was probably written by the captain of the Black Rock. Maybe there was something about Richard in there, but it was nice to see Claire again in the taxi with Kate. 
And somebody said, I heard somebody say they thought Kate might end up delivering Claire's baby again, just like she did on the island. That would be kind of cool, I guess. But is that realigning it with, you know, with the other timeline that we're seeing, or the original timeline that we've established for the first five seasons? Which timeline are we trying to get back to here? Are we trying to, I mean, you know, how many timelines are we trying to convert here? Just the two that we've seen in season six, or the three that we've seen, with you know, season one through five here, and the two in season six here and here. Ugh. 